Local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're in Stowe with the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, I assume we're talking about the covered bridge right behind us. We are, yeah, the Goldbrook Bridge or the Stowe Hollow Bridge. And popular parlance, everyone knows it as Emily's Bridge. And I think people come from all over, really, the U.S. and the world to this bridge because of supernatural activity um, that take that supposedly, <laughs> you know how I feel about this, this supposedly yeah. takes place here. So before we get into that, tell us about the bridge. When was it built? What kind of bridge is it? Yeah, so it was built in the 1840s. It's called a Howe Truss Bridge, which was a, a style of bridge building that was fairly simple and easy um, for local carpenters to build. They didn't have to have a lot of engineering experience. They could buy the plans and put them up. And it was one of many bridges along uh, the Gold Brook uh, here. It's the only one that's left standing. So it's very picturesque. And then, of course, you're on this cool creek or brook called Gold Brook. And I just learned about this today that it's called Gold Brook because they found gold in it. That's, that's the history of the brook. And of course, we're in the Stowe Hollow uh, area, which is one of the earlier villages settled in Stowe. So let's get into the legend a little bit. Emily's Bridge. Who was Emily, allegedly? So who was Emily? So the, the, <laughs> the legend goes that there was a young woman named Emily. Um, and at some point between 1849 and 1949 in there, she was a, a, a jilted by a lover. And so she then died at the site of this bridge. Now, various legends, she died in different ways. So uh, she hung herself on the bridge. She jumped off the bridge. She drove a carriage too fast, missed the bridge, went over the, in the 1920s, she's driving an automobile and missed the bridge and, uh, and went into the brook. And all of them, she dies and she haunts the bridge to this day. And so a lot of people have said that certainly between, say, midnight and 3 a.m., that things happen at this bridge. A lights, or they see apparitions, or they hear sounds. Joe Citro, you know, one of our great writers about uh, the arcane in New England, says perhaps this bridge is a portal into a different dimension. <laughs> wow. So is there any way of knowing if there's any truth behind the legend, or will we just never be sure? You know, I think the legend of, of Emily uh, it pretty well has been debunked. I mean, most researchers have, they haven't found anything showing that anyone died at this site. And I talked to, to Barbara at the Stowe Historical Society, and she said, you know, if somebody did die, perhaps it was at one of the other covered bridges, which were higher. So the story seems to have sprung up in the late 60s or, or early 70s. One is that a, a group of students was using a Ouija board, which was, you know, pretty new at the time, and it spelled out the name Emily. And another, a woman named uh, Nancy Sneed said that she invented it, that she and a friend were coming up with stories to scare kids. And of course, this was at the time of The Exorcist came out and everything else. And they came up with the story of Emily and the bridge, and it just took off. So I, I think the skeptic in me feels like that sort of uh, the way that legends start. But it certainly has brought a lot of people to Stowe to see this bridge. At this place in history.